Hello, this is Louis. I'm going to present Rabia. Rabia is a consensus protocol designed for state machine replication with the focus on stable network. What is a stable network? Stable network is a network where a majority of Rebecca, then we'll see a similar set of message. And we find that this property holds for most of a modern cluster and cloud network. And what's cool about Rebia is that it simplifies the development for SMR. Particularly, it does not need any failover protocol and it supports a very simple log completion. And all the proof for our protocol is a machine check using IB and Coke. And the performance is very good. It's better than multi-pixels and e-pixels when there are three server and they are deployed in the same availability zone. And it's comparable in other cases like five server or multi-zone deployment. So why do we need SMR? Because the most modern services are replicated to provide full tolerance, to provide scalability, but because of failure or because of message delays, machines are going to see different state and this is undesirable. So we need SMR so that the service is provided similarly like a single machine. And the way to achieve that is we will use consensus protocol to agree on the ordering of the client request. And one of the most popular protocol is Pixels. It's not the island, but the protocol proposed by Leslie Lampor. And in fact, Pixels is so popular, it can be viewed as a family of algorithms. There are tons of algorithms built on top of Pixels, always inspired by Pixels. And here, just uh, some of them, some classic example of the Pixels family. But even though Pexos is very beautiful, the idea is elegant, it's not easy to develop a production system based on Pexos. And from the, the experience with a Google choppy developer, when you develop, develop something, then the final result will be, be, uh, be based on some unproven protocol because you need to make some customization. And this, is partially what inspired REF, which won the best paper in ATC. And REF is a consensus protocol that designed with SMR in mind and understandability was the first class citizen. And because the notion, notion uh, behind REF is a stronger notion of leadership, which makes it simpler to understand, and it was quickly adopted by many of the production system. But Despite all this effort, still very, very difficult to develop, develop SMR systems based on our experience because consensus is only one part of the story. To support the real SMR system, you still need to have tons of auxiliary protocols and like both REF and Pexos and all the Pexos family, it's just very difficult to develop this and to integrate them. And this is why all this protocol based on the notion of leader. So the leader proposed something and then Rebecca said, yes, I agree, yes, I agree. Then leader can go on and output that. But the complicated thing happens when leader crushes. And in this case, no Rebecca actually know what the decision the leader made. And in this case, the Rebecca between themselves, they need to do a recovery, they need to uh, do leader election to elect a new leader. But if during this process, some red picker again fails or the new leader fail, you need to redo the process again, which make this uh, fail over and then the compaction super complicated. And actually, prior worlds try to address this. Honey Badger shared the same uh, vision with us. They say, if we use randomized thing, we can make this SMR or like for tolerance easier. Unfortunately, it was designed for Byzantine case, so it's not clear how to apply the same idea in our case with a uh, crush failure where we uh, focus on performers. And there's also one very cool paper called No Pixels. The idea is that we have so many smart hardware SDN. Why don't we push the uh, 
uh, heavy work in the ordering request part to the hardware to, to build a sequencer. And actually, the logic can be simplified and then the, how the performance is great. But unfortunately, the failover actually requires some changes in the switch and then it needs a switch support. And in our experience, this kind of uh, switch is not always available on public cloud. And that we need to look at something else and then we look at a very old paper by Ben O, which is a randomized consensus. And then the idea of that is that replicas actually make joint decision. So there's no notion of leader at all. You do all to all communication and based on some rules, sometimes randomized rule, you can output something. So why joint decision is good is that consider a case, only one node fail, one replica fails. On the right hand side, we have multi pixels. If leader fails, as I told you, it's like not easy to recover. But in the case for Benno, because you have joint decision, so actually replica two and replica three know exactly what replica one has decided. And this make the process much simpler. But of course, Benno's algorithm still have lots of downside. First, it's all to all communication and it has exponential number of runs. And then because it's a randomized protocol, the rule is not very stable. It would have stable, unstable performers. And I would say that the contribution of this work of our Arabia is a how to make randomized protocol and fast for the case for SMR. In our first observation or first up contribution is that we observe that stable network can make randomized consensus fast by stable network, that's our definition. And in fact, in our design, we can uh, create a case such that all replica, they will propose the same request that agreement can be achieved in three delays. And in our experience, in our evaluation, most of the time, more than 98% of time, in ideal case that we will use this fast path. So that's how we achieve very good performance. Of course, the network is not always stable, especially with a very high load. So our next challenge is that how to reduce tail latency, how to reduce this unstableness. And our key observation and our second number of design is that we introduce the idea of no up. And then actually obtaining a no up is faster than obtaining a request. So let me show you an example. Here is a slot and then we have replica. And what we observe that is the randomized consensus it will take a long time because usually replicas, they see different set of message and then propose different requests for the same slot. And in this case, we can actually produce a no up very fast, also in three delay. And then that's what they do in slot zero because they say, you know what? I give up, I don't know what to agree on. And then during this time, it's actually not west because that the, all the requests are changing in the background. So in the next round, you are going to hit the fast path again. So to sum up this design is that it's faster to fail fast to obtain a no up. And then in the second slot, we are going to hit the fast path again to obtain the request. And that's our two key design for Rabia to make randomized fast. And we do our evaluation on GCP. We compare it against a multi pixels and e pixels when there's no conflict. In that case, actually, replicas can decide on any order. So that's the best case for them. And then for GCP, the, we deploy them in a single data center. The RTTs are pretty fast and then the network is stable in our uh, experience. So in the first case, ideal case, we have three uh, server in the same availability zone. And then you can see that even with a 99% high latency, 
it's still uh, uh, Rebia is a little bit higher than the pixels and multipixels, but as you can see, throughput is much higher than the other two. In the case for different availability zone, and yes, we have a reduced performance, but still comparable with uh, e-pixels and still much higher than multi-pixels. And we have other uh, performance evaluation in the paper. Please check it. And the summary is that it is very difficult to develop MSMR. And then that's why Rebia is cool because we simplify the integration for auxiliary protocols and our performance still good and actually better in ideal case and then comparable in other cases. And then the key insight is that we use stable network and randomization to make a good performance. And that's all. Thank you. If you have any question, feel free to email me.